lovelies this is going to be a more serious video than usual because I just got back from a presentation from invisible children about the whole Joseph Coney crisis in Uganda if you have been on the internet between yesterday and today you have probably heard about the Coney 2012 campaign I wanted to talk a little bit about that you know, jumping on the bandwagon when everyone else is talking about something and got to be in on it. Um, and so I wanted to kind of make a video kind of explaining it and like kind of my opinions on it. Basically what it is, if you haven't seen it already, well, first of all, if you haven't seen it already, I'm going to link the video down in the description. It is like a 30 minute video and it's really worth watching. Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, a 30 minute video, I could be watching Shane Dawson or something, but no, it's really worth watching, go watch it, it's really important to be aware of things that go on in our world, so yeah, link in the description. Basically, the organization Invisible Children was founded to find Joseph Coney and like arrest him for the crimes he's been committing in Uganda for at least since 2003. I've heard from other sources that it's been like 20 years and still no one's done anything about it, which is disturbing to me, but, um, and you'll see why if you watch the video, or I'm going to tell you kind of a little bit about it. Um, so it's kind of disturbing to me to think that we haven't done anything. Oh, and once, once again, whatever is said in this video is like merely my opinion or like when anything that I say on like what I think about the conflict or whatever is like merely my opinion so I mean obviously it's an opinion so it's not fact um so yeah I mean 20 years 20 years really invisible children it was founded to combat the crimes of Joseph Coney and his rebel organization, the Lord's Resistance Army, also known as the LRA. What this organization does, or what Coney's kind of crime is, is for abducting children and forcing them to kill people and be in his army. He also, like, that's what he uses the, the boy kids for, like the boy children, and the girls he sells off his wives to the soldiers or uses as sex slaves. So far, he's abducted over 30,000 children, I believe between 2003 and now, so 2012. He's like the most famous war criminal, and he's number one on the, I guess, most wanted charts or something. He's number one. It's been known of him to say that he's not fighting for any cause. He's just fighting to maintain his power status. The conflict in Uganda, Africa, isn't really well known by a lot of people, which is why I believe that this has gone on longer than it should. We haven't done anything to help them, which I think is really sad. We have like 100 troops over there right now helping the Ugandan army, like the real army, not the LRA, helping them to defeat the LRA, which is good, which is amazing, but we I feel we could do a lot more to help them. Basically, my main opinion is I just think if the same thing would be happening in the United States, like we would we would have stopped it before it got to maybe like one year. We would have tried our darndest and we are not helping them, which is so sad and ridiculous. Like I feel that they need our help and we're not helping them help themselves. So today, like I mentioned previously, I went to a presentation from the Invisible Children organization. 
about the whole Kony 2012 deal. And there was a young woman from Uganda. I believe she said she was a junior in university. So that's two years older than me. And she's lived through the war in Uganda. She said that she knew some girls that had gotten abducted back in 2003. And she still hasn't seen them since. It was just overall a really touching performance. Like I really think that this is something that we need to help. And the more that people talk about Kony, the more that people spread the word, spread the video, like I'm going to be doing for you guys, the more that we can make Kony famous. And we're not going to celebrate him. We're going to make him a household name so people are aware of the problems that are going on, which is what we want. Because the more people are aware, the more people will see that this is wrong. And the more people will look to their government and their senators and all that kind of stuff so that the government knows that we're interested in helping them. Like, I guess it's like the main reason that we're not doing anything is because no one knows and no one seems like they care enough. Like no one is showing the interest in helping them, which is why we aren't helping them. So enough of my little, you know, rant overview. Like I said, I just really think that if this was going on in the United States, we would be right there. Like, we we would get the guy. We, like, we would have Coney by now. I don't understand if it's a race issue. I don't understand if it's just, like, a we don't care because it's not our country issue. Like, if that's the case, that's really sad. But, I mean, we just need to get the word out. Um... Coney 2012, tag it on Twitter, tag it on Facebook, um, well, hashtag it on Twitter. I don't know what you do for Google+, Plus, but do something on there, too. Do as much as you can to get the word out so that people know of this crisis that's going on. <sighs> Whew. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Like I said, go check out the link to the video. I'm going to put below link to the video, link to information about Invisible Children, the links to, um, I think, Invisible Children's website. You can, I'll put the Facebook link down there. I'll put everything so that you are fully aware. I think this is a great cause that needs help. Like, we need to help them help themselves. Either way, I hope you will get informed on things that are happening in our world, and I promise I will have a new video up with a regular topic, like a normal, less serious topic, soon. Peace out, YouTube.